Hi everyone. This question here is about permuting the letters in a word and that word is intermittent which has got 12 letters, two I's, two N's, four T's and two E's. Now down here we want to know how many ways can we uh, permute these if the four T's stay together. Now there's a couple of different ways of thinking this thing through here. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to treat those all as, as if they're different T's. I, I want to be consistent with, with how I approach all of this. I'm going to pretend that there are, the T's are different colors. There's like a red, a blue, a green and a yellow. They're yellow T's here, okay? So when I permute those, they do look different. In which case there are four T's to permute and there are four factorial, okay, ways that I can permute those four T's. Now, that leaves me with, if I, whoa, sorry, I'm looking for the word here. There it is, intermittent. If I take the T's out, that leaves me with eight other letters that are going to get permuted. Now, but I, I don't want this to be four factorial, eight factorial, because that implies that the four, the four T's are out front. I want the T's to be part of the overall permutation, but I want them to stick together. So I treat them as a single object. Okay, my four T's are a single object, but with the eight, they're a single object, sorry, with the eight other letters. That gives us nine objects that we're permuting. Now, once I've dealt with that, I have to deal with the fact that there are two I's, two N's. There are still four T's. Now, what that's going to effectively do is basically treat this as a single letter. Four factorial over four factorial will cancel. Basically, it's like one big T. So it's just one of the letters there. So that 9 factorial will deal with it over 2 factorial. Now, another way of doing this is to treat that as 4 factorial. Now, and by the way, some people won't even include the 4 factorial. They'll just, they'll just treat the T's as one big letter here. But another way of doing this is to say that there are 8 letters left over factorial, okay? But there are then 9 places that I could put that group of 4 T's. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a second here. And then I would divide by the 2 factorial, 2 factorial, 4 factorial, 2 factorial to deal with the repetition of the letters here. Now, what I mean by this is I've got the 8 factorial. That refers to the 8 other letters here. So that's going to be the I, the N, the E, the R, M, I, uh, E, N. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, these are all going to get permuted according to 8 factorial. Where the 9 comes from is there are now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 different places in and around those letters where I could put that group of 4 T's. So that's why you can see it like this or like this. And again, if you chose not to include the 4 factorial in the numerator and denominator just because you're treating them as, as the T's as one letter, that's fine too. That's, that's totally fine.